On one side, the, Refo the Republican victor openly disavows any intention to construe the Constitution or to interfere with any right plainly written in the Constitution. And he counsels the South to stay in the Union as the best protection for their institutions. But on the other side, he reflects on the limits of a Constitution in resolving new questions as they arise. He affirms the sovereignty of a duly constituted majority and its authority to act by its own lights in constitutional controversies. And he rejects the notion that a Supreme Court can resolve such issues conclusively or irrevocably. This delicate ju juxtaposition of values shows us pragmatism at the precipice. It's a first reluctant recognition of the inevitability of construction, of the legitimacy of political contestation over fundamental questions, of a democratic politics as a pragmatic realm of doubt and projection. Pragmatism is tragic because in the end it offers no way of avoiding construction and reinterpretation of values. Reconstruction follows from the prime directive pr to pursue a path toward more noble ends. Even a leader as prudent as Lincoln, a leader who struggled all along to minimize the institutional effects of the anti-slavery cause, could not avoid these consequences. <laughs> 